Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure a DHCP server in the given network topology and verify that it works. So for that we must have a server that acts as a DHCP server which can find which we can find on this end devices, this third one generic. So you can place it over here. And then we must have couple of PCs that acts as the DHCP client. So let us have four PCs around us. And let us have a 2960 switch that connects all these devices. So this is going to be our DHCP service provider and these are the clients that are going to receive dynamic IP addresses from this DHCP server so now let us connect them with uh, copper straight through wire there it goes Okay, so connection is done, configuration part is remained. So, first of all, we will go to our DHCP server over here. And first of all, we need to give a static IP address for this DHCP server. So, for this topology, we are going to use a network of 192.168.100/24. So, the first usable IP address we can give it to 192. 192.168.1.1 Press tab, you can find the subnet mask Since we have used slash 24 subnet mask, this is the default subnet mask for it So we should not configure the default gateway and DNS server So let it be um, Let us close this and let, let us go to now services We have DHCP services over here So first of all we need to make it on This is the pool name, let it remain default gateway we don't have any routers configured so we will not use any default gateway values DNS we have not uh, configured DNS server so we do not use any DNS servers now start IP address 192.168.100 is our network address 192.168.101 is already given to this server so let us start from 192.168.1.2 Subnet mask is default subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Maximum number of users, it's, it depends on you The maximum number of users that you can configure um, It depends on the requirement of your devices So right now I will let it to, to be 255 So save it, you can see this detail Server pool, default gateway, we don't have any value DNS server, we don't have any value Start IP address 102, subnet mask dot zero, maximum user is 254 because the maximum number of usable IP addresses in a class C network is 254 and uh, for this network one IP address is already used for this server so maximum 253 devices can be configured on this server to receive our dynamic IP addresses so DNS DHCP server is already configured now let us go and look at our PCs if you go to PC and if you go to desktop if you go to IP configuration the option is static we don't use static options right now so let us choose DHCP and of course you get a message DHCP request successful and you get an IP address of 192.168.102 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 then let's go to PC1 do the same thing DHCP IP DHCP
IP DHCP. Okay, now let us perform a ping test. If you go to command prompt and if you type IP config, you get a IP address of this particular device. So if you ping 192.168.1.1 You are trying to connect to the DHCP server. Let us see what happens. Of course, you get a response message. 100% response is required. So if you go and ping to the same but dot 2 you get a response 3 you get a response 4 you get a response so 5 you get a response because it is sending ICMP messages ping messages to itself so if you try to ping to dot 6 then you don't get any message because 192.168.1.6 is not allocated to any of the devices. Okay, so since you can uh, find over here, all the packets are lost and received is zero lost is 4% because we don't have any IP addresses 106 assigned to any devices so this was all about configuring a DHCP server and on the real-time scenario students on the real-time scenario we do not uh, particularly use DHCP server generally uh, router works uh, as a DHCP server and it's uh, responsible for providing dynamic IP addresses to all the devices since we have not learned that kind of commands, so we are right now using DHCP server for configuring the IP addresses for this class. So, thank you very much.